All right, we're back. Today we're gonna be doing a gas pressure test. And uh, basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna remove the meter and I'm gonna put a gauge here. Out here we do uh, 10 pounds for 15 minutes is, is what, you know, what the code the jurisdiction once out here so basically what you do is you use a 15 pound gauge and you pressurize it and the minimum is 10 pounds so uh, you know I'll give it more like 12 to see if it drops and uh, and then we'll go from there this this place had a fire so it's some of the debris from the roof so and this is a duplex so we're going to be in the other unit working and i'll you know i'll plug and i'll cap where needed inside to get this sucker to hold pressure and then you know we'll go from there and then if i'm losing pressure then every everything's pretty much exposed i'll uh spray it down with a soap solution and and try to locate the leaks and get them fixed and get this sucker safe a thread protector that's that's an Arizona favorite out here I don't know why these knuckleheads do it they they must think couplings come with it or something they come with the pipe I guess that's what they think that's a thread protector watch out I'll, dip, I'll uh, remove this and we'll look at it in the inside it'll be straight tapped the whole way through I know because these fools do this out here all the time man See, I told you. From now on, we're going to start calling these Arizona couplings. How about that? I come up with a new word. That's an Arizona coupling. They're not thread protectors no more. I don't know if the gas company did it or the plumber did it, but... Thread protector. When the, the the thread's not tapered, you look at it fitting. And there's a difference. This is tapered, so as you tighten it, it tightens and gets closer. So. Arizona coupling. That's a new word. Okay, now that we got our Arizona coupling removed, our gauge installed, I'm gonna go inside, cap off all the stub outs to all the appliances, and then we'll pressure test this 10 pounds and we'll give it a 15 minute test to see if it drops, and then from there it's good. The gas provider is going to use this plug here and remove this and they're going to put a manometer before they uh, release the, the gas. So it's going to actually get two tests, one with a gauge, another one with a manometer. So Okay, there's a half inch stub out here for, this is a wall furnace. I can tell by the flu. So I'm gonna cap that. There's a three quarter line for a domestic gas range. I'll cap that. And you can see, here's where the fire started somewhere here. They say the water heater 
did it. I don't know. I mean, shit's all melted here. So, I don't know. Maybe they had some hot flu piping or something. Touching combustible material. I, I don't know. Honestly, I, I, mean, I wasn't here. But... Yeah, and I'll cap this one as well. Get rid of all these old grease valves. Hey, they don't no shut off anyway. But just for now, we'll cap. I mean, chances are I'm going to do the replacement of all this stuff anyway. So, But that'll be down the stretch. You know, the framers got to put this place back to life. They're up there now. Nice and heavy, they always go with my brass scrap bin, man. These grease valves ain't worth the shit, they leak like sieves. They leak like old battleships. But they're nice and heavy. This, oh, the electric off? Am I gonna get zapped here or what? Nothing's hot. Okay, good. That's nice to know. Ah. Come on, serious? Double shot. Thanks, brother. Thanks. You saved the day. much better that's what we want Thank you. 
this one at an angle. I don't have a choice. <clears throat> Ain't going nowhere. Okay. Get the compressor out. Charged it to 12 pounds. We'll give it a little rest here. See what we get. Okay. Pressurized it to 12. We lost one pound, 15, 20 minutes. So this goes that direction underground. I suspect that's where the leak is. So that'll be part two of it is relocating. Yeah, along the rafters and uh, connect it onto the existing and the second unit. And then I'll go from, you know, underground and said I'll switch and do everything overhead. Yeah. Reconnect and repressure test it. It'll be fine. Thanks for watching.